what is your engagement rate for your entire Facebook business page and for the individual posts on your Facebook page? And why does that matter? What can it tell you? I'm gonna show you in this video. If you'd like more stuff like this, weekly digital marketing lessons in less than 10 minutes a week, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get a notification each time there's a new lesson. Before I get into the nitty gritty of Facebook engagement rate, what is engagement rate anyway? Why is it important? Well, I covered this in my previous video, so don't forget to go and watch that either now or maybe when you finish watching this video, and that will explain why we're even calculating this stuff. Facebook actually gives us two, two ways that we can calculate engagement rate, and the first one is so easy to find. You'll find it in your Facebook page insights. And when you go to your Facebook page insights, click on the posts tab, and there you'll see a long list of all the posts that you've put on Facebook. And next to that, it has the reach for each post and it tells you how many engagements it has, how many link clicks it has. But actually, not many people know this, but there's something else we can see here. In fact, if you click that little tab on the top right hand side, you can select engagement rate as a metric. And all of a sudden, it will show you not just the reach, but now it will show the engagement rate for each post. Why? Why is this important? I mean, it's already showing your engagements. Why is engagement rate better? Well, I know a lot of us will measure our Facebook success on the amount of reach that we get on a post. But what engagement rate can do is it can tell us even if the reach is absolute pants, it can tell us whether our audience liked it, whether they engaged with it. So even if you've got a post with lower reach, you might notice that the engagement rate is quite high. Now take a look, scroll through, look for the post with the highest engagement rate. What do you see? Do they have something in common? Are they a specific type of content? So maybe it's a video that's doing really well or an image post. Even more interesting is that some posts will get a low reach but a high engagement rate. Why is this? Well, it could be two things. Number one, the Facebook algorithm doesn't just rely on engagement on your posts. Take a look at those posts and see what it is that might be telling the algorithm that they're not gonna show it to any more people. One time I looked at this, it was because Facebook didn't want to show shared posts to as many people. So even though the page I was working on had received a lot of engagement on the post they'd shared from another page, it wasn't pushing it out to other people. Could it be the type of content? Could it be that you're using some of those trigger words that Facebook hates, like buy, book, like, share? Even if posts that have like and share written in them get a lot of likes and shares, Facebook tends not to show it to many people. Now you know how to quickly see the engagement rate of your Facebook posts. But can we calculate the engagement rate for the whole of Facebook? And this can be a really interesting exercise to do. It can tell you how effectively you're engaging with your audience on Facebook compared to how you're engaging with your audience on Instagram, on Twitter, or any other social network. So let's look at how you do that. To measure the engagement rate of your entire Facebook page, we need to get a little bit more analytical. We need to download some data and analyze it. But it is not as scary as I just made it sound, honestly. Here's how we do it. Head over to your Facebook Insights. Click on Overview and then Export Data. Keep Page Date selected. Under the All Page Data dropdown, select Make a Custom Layout. Now for the fun bit, if you love spreadsheets. If not, this bit will be over soon, so it is fine. You need to create first what they call a sheet separator. And this is just a tab under which your data is going to sit. I'm gonna call that sheet separator 28 days engagement. I'm going to select two metrics for my report. The first one is 28 days engaged users. The second one is 28 days total reach, and this includes both your paid and your organic reach. Now name your report. This is handy because it means you won't have to set it up again. You'll be able to run it any time that you want to. 
Click apply, select a date range. If you're looking for data, as I would recommend for the last 28 days, you only need to select one date, that's yesterday. And then export data. And this will export a file onto your computer. It's a .xls file, which you can open in Excel if that's what you use, or you can import it into Google Docs and view it there. When you open the file, you see there are two named columns, 28 day users and 28 day engage. I'm gonna add another column and I'm gonna call it engagement rate. Select the cell next to the data in that new column and you're gonna add a formula. And the formula is equals open bracket. Now click on the cell that includes the engagements and then put in a forward slash, which represents divide. Then click on the cell for reach, close the bracket, put in a star that represents multiply by 100. It tells me that the overall engagement rate for the last 28 days is... How did yours turn out? I recommend that you look at this statistic, download that report, do this calculation once every 28 days. And that means you can benchmark against yourself. Is your overall engagement rate up? or down? What sort of content are you putting out there? Have you made a new content plan? Is it working better or worse than before? There is so much that this statistic can tell you. So go on, what are you hanging around for? Go work out your engagement rate and let me know how you get on. The bad news is Twitter does this completely differently. So make sure you're subscribed and I will show you in my next video how you calculate engagement rate on Twitter.